Don't forget to subscribe TechQuest Vlogger and also tap the bell icon to never miss a video from us. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to perform the installation of Windows Server 2012 R2. We will also talk about some of the features available with Windows Server 2012 in my future videos. Once again, friends, my name is Nathan Lal and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel TechQuest Vlogger. If you are new to my YouTube channel, then consider subscribing. Alright, let's begin. For demonstration purpose, we are going to perform the installation of Windows Server 2012 on VMware Workstation. But before performing the installation, let's quickly understand the system requirements. You require at least 1.4 GHz 64-bit processor to perform the installation of Windows Server 2012. If you have a CPU above that, that is also fine, but minimum requirement is 1.4 GHz. Now, if we talk about memory, we require at least 512 MB of memory. Again, that is minimum. You can increase it as per your requirement. Now, if you talk about drive, we require at least 32 GB of drive. That's again minimum. Uh, you can go beyond that as well. Again, as per your requirement. All right, let's quickly jump over to the installation now. So to do that, let's simply go ahead and create a new virtual machine here. I'm going to browse the location of my ISO so here is my ISO for Windows Server 2012 hit next now I'm gonna give it a name as uh, DC 3 for now I'm probably gonna use this machine as my domain controller later on so that's why I'm giving it a name as DC 3 click next uh, I'm gonna give it a size as uh, 90 GB. Oops, 90 GB. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to split it, so I'm gonna use it as a single file here. So hit next. If you want to customize anything here, you can do that. Like if you would like to include more processor, you can do that. If you would like to uh, change the location of your ISO, you can do that as well. Uh, if you have any any network created by your own uh, within the VMware workstation you can switch it over here I don't want to do it as of now I just want to use it as NAT so I will stick to that default for now uh, rest pretty much it you can switch the memory if you like from here I'm fine with the settings which is there at this moment so I'm gonna close this window and hit finish So as soon as you hit finish, you can see that it's uh, booted up with the Windows Server 2012 ISO. If you would like to modify anything within the screen, you can do it here as well. Like uh, if you would like to uh, change your keyboard, you can do that here. If you would like to change the time and currency format, you can do that here as well based on your location. So in my case, I'm pretty much okay with the defaults, which is here at this moment. So I'm going to ignore any changes here and hit next. Now, as soon as you hit next, it asks you to perform the installation of Windows Server 2012. So I want to do it. So let's quickly hit the install now button. Now on this screen, you have an option where is you can simply go ahead and select the edition of your window, which you would like to install. In my case, I would like to perform the installation of Windows Server 2012 R2 Standard Edition. So I'm going to select that and uh, hit Next. And now you can simply go ahead and uh, go through with the license agreement. And uh, afterwards, accept the license terms and then hit Next again. Now let's say for instance, if you would like to perform the upgrade of any OS, then in that scenario you should boot up your machine with that OS first like for instance you have Windows Server 2008 on one of the machine and you would like to perform an upgrade of your Windows Server 2008 to Windows Server 2012 I'm just quoting an example right now so in that scenario you should boot your Windows Server 2008 machine first and then afterwards run the ISO to perform the installation so in our case, uh, if I'm going to select the very first option, it's going to fail. So I'm going to go ahead and select the second option here. As you can see that uh, it's showing me my 
actual drive which I have selected while I was creating the virtual machine so in my case I don't want to uh, create any partition I just want to have one hard disk for now in case in future if I want additional hard drive I can simply go to the uh, virtual machine of mine and can create a new hard drive there so that's why I'm gonna stick to the one which I have at this moment and I'm not going to create any partition here so I'm gonna hit next here now as you can see that on the very next screen it started the installation of uh, Windows Server 2012 now this entire process is going to take a bit of time so I'm going to pause this video for now as soon as this installation is done I will be back and we are back as you can see that my installation has been done and it's just uh, going to restart the machine so I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit restart now So it will restart the windows again and we are almost done here all you need to do that uh, we are going to use this machine for the very first time so there is no password assigned as such so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, supply the password which I would like to set on this machine and hit finish now just go ahead and uh, log in with the same account here and we are done here as you can see that my machine has been booted up and my Windows Server 2012 is ready that's all I have for now thanks for joining me for this course I will see you in the very next tutorial of mine if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please consider subscribing. Until then, I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.